Welcome back to my channel guys, I'm gonna stay well conversations. Now today guys, I'm reacting to Angie Tate talking about toxic mas masculinity, modern masculinity, and uh, him being accused of being a misogynist. And before we get start started, make sure to smash that like button, share, comment, subscribe, and let's go. Do you think you're a misogynist? Absolutely not. I'm not a misogynist on any level. This is one of those buzzwords they throw at They just throw at people randomly. Homophobic, racist, misogynist, they just throw it out at people. What is I your view of women? And I can tell you right now, man, uh, for me, um, uh, watching all his podcasts and speaking is that he's not misogynist. Misogynist is uh, what they throw at people who they don't disagree with, they don't like their philosophy. Uh, while they're speaking truth, because remember, if you don't know this, have you heard this uh, saying is that um, the one who speaks the truth is the most hated, and that's by a Greek philosopher called Plato. I'm a realist. What is your real view of women? I absolutely not only love women, I adore women, I have good relationships with women. Not a single woman has come up to me on the street since I've been cancelled. Not a single one has said anything negative. Every single one of them has said positive things. You're a traditional male, I wish more men were like you. You understand your masculine roles, you understand what you're supposed to do, you understand you're supposed to protect women. You're exactly the kind of man I'd be looking for. I've never had a negative interaction with a female ever since I've been dubbed the biggest misogynist Where in the world. Where is the... Please. You see, yeah, uh, when people don't see, they're, trying, they're all their best to tear it down, bring them down, and it's not working. The Matrix, they're trying their very best, it's not working. For him, of uh, speaking his mind and speaking his truth on that, and know it's waking a lot of people up because he's, uh, he is, uh, what is called his attention and his speech is worldwide and that. You know what I mean? So whatever he says in that, and listen to. And there's no one, I haven't heard anyone, any woman, that has any spoken badly about him or just all positivity and that and i mean and show and then them telling that um men need to be an example for um for for most women please, please let me finish i'm sorry sorry pierce also there's not been a single woman who's accused me of a crime not a single woman who's accused me of rape not a single woman has come out and said anything from my entire past of 36 years i've done anything wrong ever anybody else with my level of fame any footballer any other movie star at least has people who've come out and accused them of rape xyz i have no woman who's come out and ever said i've hurt her no woman has come out and ever said i've done damage to her or been horrible to her everybody who ever interacted with me has said i've been a nice person all of them hey, so, so this okay. random twitter nobody who seems to know so much is full of all right you I can tell you, any, if you look at any person uh, who is uh, against the grain and that, you know what I mean, and uh, is uh, speaking truth to wake people's consciousness of anyone that you see in history all the way to this, uh, all the way to this day, they will, they will call them an uh, anti-Semitic, call them misogynist, call all these names and that. Why? Because the person, they know that the person is speaking truth, but they try to, uh, to, um, to uh, use the social media to weaponize against and make him look evil, make him look bad, which is not. He's just speaking the truth. You've responded to her tweet. Yeah, uh, sure. here's, here's one, Where is the line for you between masculinity, which I will always defend, and which I agree with, I think a lot of women like men to be masculine, and, and what has become known as toxic masculinity. And the reason I ask you is that you are engaged in that debate with men all the time. Where is the line for you where men shouldn't cross, where the behavior should be kept within a line? Please define toxic masculinity. Well, you tell me what you... <laughs> toxic masculinity, there's such, such thing as toxic masculinity. You know what I'm saying, dear? All his message is, is men uh, following their tradition and being in their nature, being their true self, of uh, where it could be a, a protector, being provider, um, where it could be, be uh, or being a, a leader, etc. That's his whole message. Here, but the media is having this curious words and that, saying that it's the opposite. Do you think it crosses a line from being a masculine good man? To a bad man. There's no such thing as too much masculinity if it's genuinely masculine. Genuine masculinity is not out here to hurt people. It's absolutely the opposite. It's out here to protect. And when bad things happen, they call traditionally masculine men. If you need a firefighter, you need a masculine man. When you call the police because of the problem you have, you want masculine men. And as soon as a woman or a man is in trouble, when you look for backup, you look for masculine men. And masculine men have a duty to provide and protect those they care about. We have a duty to do things we don't feel like doing because we know we're supposed to do them. And that's what you see that that's the that, that's the thing. If you look at all the things that's going on right now, is every uh, celebrity where all of them push our agenda for them for a man not to realize who they truly are, able to be in their nature and able to protect, provide 
for a woman they care about. Also, one thing that he said is that like a man has to, regardless uh, of his uh, circumstances, to able to fulfill his duties. That's mandatory. Fulfill his duties. Do you understand? Otherwise, you're not a real traditional masculine man. I was looking right now. Most men, uh, the, most men, they feel weak. They're mentally weak, physically weak. You know what I mean? The, um, eating, eating dead food. You know what I mean? Don't take care of themselves. All that is that show of that you don't respect yourself, and then you're not. Uh, you, you cannot be a man. It has to be all the opposite to be a man. It's a combination of um, multiple things. That's why we stayed in the Titanic and died. Those were masculine where men. Did you, where did you get your views about this from? It's what I grew up with. It's the family I grew up around. And your living. father, your mother? Yeah, both. And, and the world I lived in. And I think a lot of the things I'm saying now about masculinity and how people should act in the world how the world should function were considered completely normal and accepted by everybody only 20 years ago. I think the world's just lost its mind. For me to stand up and say a man should protect a woman, now gets to be called a misogynist and canceled. If I said that 10 years ago, everyone would say, duh. And what's funny is... That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to reverse now. To reverse now for if they realize that the, the man, is got, a man is going to turn into a woman and the, the woman is going to turn into a man. They want to exchange roles, which causes conflict. Everyone who argues against me and says men shouldn't protect women, especially all the feminists, if they were with their boyfriend and a man broke into their house, guess who they'd expect to go downstairs? <laughs> Have you ever wondered what would happen if you actually sat down and talked with missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Who do you think? Think they go themselves? <laughs> Are they going to Afghanistan? No, we send men to do these things. So. That's the thing about that, the China very much this, this feminine movement uh, tied to oh, oh, what you call a, a boss, CEO, or oh, oh, we, we've got to be the leaders in that, you know what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. But it's with these two hands that man created, uh, created uh, what you call it, the, uh, created the empires. It's with these two hands. And that's what the women doing that. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Women are designed, they're gentle, caring, you know, they're gentle, caring, and designed to take care of the family, take care of the kids, and that. while man's go out and work and hunt, hunt or come back home. That's just always been in that. If this is going to change, they're trying to, ch to change, uh, change, change this uh, narrative, this philosophy, then it's always going to be total chaos. Well, we, send women, we send women in the armed forces too. We, you, you have to generalize when you make points. There are many, many exceptions. People, exceptions do not disprove the rule. No, but there, you've got to concede there are many courageous women serving the army. Absolutely and utterly. Piers Morgan again, man. He's going like, uh, he, he, this is a free censor channel on that. But he's working with the up. Do you me? What is he? What is he talking about this thing? What is he talking about? Yeah, what is he talking about? He's basically pushing the feminine movement out there, saying that um, um, women need to be uh, in their masculine roles and men need to be in the feminine. That's what he's actually saying indirectly. Indirectly, he's arguing a point that are oh, there's more women out in the offer. Of course, there's the population got bigger. It's like eight billion people or something ever rising, ever rising uh, as time goes on. But again, that comes back to the same point. The it's always. The man that does the, the fighting, the combat, hunting, and the woman is here at home taking care of the family. That's always going to be, that's always going to be that way. Otherwise, <laughs> completely correct. But by and large, traditionally, soldiers are men. Exceptions do not disprove the rule. Well, it, it's not an exception. It's a fact that there are a lot of women now in the armed forces. Correct. But if you were to take the average soldier, they are a male. If you're allowed to say who's a male and who isn't nowadays, I'm assuming their gender, I apologize. If you're to take the average soldier, they're a male, which means that exceptions are the female soldiers, which because there's a lower percent of them, a lower probability, exceptions do not disprove the rule. Men do the fighting. What right now in Ukraine, men cannot leave. Women are allowed to leave because men have to fight in the front line and women are allowed to go to Dubai. That is how it is. You see, you see, it's so hard and that for um, for Anna Tate to change it to change his words and that, and then change it, change the way, way the way he's saying things. It's so hard. It's like, look, doing now, there's a lot more women now in armed forces now. Armed forces. What's the point trying to make in that? What's the point? It's again back to the same point. Again, he's trying to he's trying to make uh, headlines. Uh, he's trying to make headlines. I'm trying to make news. That's all trying to do. Any person that's been on there, majority of people decide to take headlines and, that, and basically. For, use their words and weaponize against them. What do you say to young men who come to you for advice, who feel lost, who don't really know where they fit into society? I say that life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. You're only going to be cared about based on how useful you are. You have the chance to build yourself up and become a superhero if you're prepared to do the hard work and be indefatigable enough to never quit. But if you're going to stand around and wait for a handout, nobody's going to ever respect you. And I think that 
And that's the start of the start, the start reality of of a being a man. When you're born, you start, when you're a man, you are when you come to this earth and you're sort of zero. You ever got no uh, nothing. You ain't got like a woman that like she, she can uh, she got a showcase what she's born with. You know, it's out there, but knows me went out there, game uh, getting so much money, only fans. You know what I mean? Going viral all the time, always just shaking the ass, always sexualizing himself. But a man. Whether you're sad, you're distressed, you're angry, all these problems and that, no, you have to go do it by yourself. You gotta build yourself up from a ground zero to build yourself all up, to uh, uh, be uh, have money, to be in social, uh, to, to be have whole social status. Do you understand what I'm saying? All these things. Otherwise, you will not get respected. Whether a woman deny it or not, they always look for what's around them, man. Always to do what's for a man. Doesn't mean doesn't mean um, a man's gotta be super wealthy, but always you go around him, okay, that his works, X, Y, Z, you know what I mean? And that's it, that's it. you enter you enter you enter the um the, uh, the you enter the game basically. Otherwise, nah, there is no respect in that. A lot of people have forgotten about how difficult and how competitive it is as a man. We're always in constant competition with each other. And it's your duty as a man to stand up and say, I want to be as important and strong and good hearted and god fearing as possible, and I need to work hard to achieve those things. Dame Sheila Hancock says we've become too over emotional as a society, crying too much about everything. Well, That's <laughs> uh, nowadays. That uh, nowadays, uh, man. If you see a man who doesn't know what's eating or he's drinking, doesn't go to the gym. By the way, all he looks like and everything. You know, so it's appearance and that. By it looks like he lost his hair. All of that shows, man. He doesn't. He started to use uh, drugs. Um, eating eating rubbish food, uh, overindulging, um, overindulging in uh, watching uh, different hours. All that is to show shows a man of what what, you, what how he lives his life. You know what I'm saying? All all looking for escape is to escape from their problems. That's what a man looks like. The average man. That's why he looks like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why it looks like that. You know what I mean? Um, on the public eye, people see now that this person doesn't respect himself, doesn't value himself. That's the truth on that. You know what I mean? So all it takes is speaking facts. She got a point? She's completely right. And the dangerous thing about overly emotional men is that they're dangerous. They're genuinely dangerous. This is what's crazy. All these people who talk about toxic masculinity and how bad it is for men to be traditionally masculine. A traditionally masculine man does things he doesn't feel like doing because it is his duty to do them. He charged. That is how it works in that. One of, one of the things that he said not too long ago, he said that a man, a man who goes to the gym, regardless of how he feels, will always be the man. Always be the man. Or go to the gym when he feels like it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to, if you can go by if you like, you're not gonna go to the gym. You're not gonna work on your business. You're not gonna do this. All these important tasks, so-called important tasks to you, you're not you're not going to fulfill them because you're going off by your feeling. That's how it works in that. And over two, two emotional men, they go off by how they feel. I don't go to the gym, so I'm not going to the gym. I don't feel like feeling my follow my diet plan. I'm not gonna go feel them uh, before my diet plan. Yes, you know that's how that's how it works. And we, we, uh, the more doesn't need men like that. Men need do uh, fulfill their duties regardless of how they feel. That's how society society in the world moves forward. Just into the burning building because it is his duty, not because he feels like it, because it is his duty. We're now teaching the new generation of men that they don't have duty and they can just act on their feelings and act how they feel, and they don't have to act as a man should. Do you know what happens when you get men who just act how they feel? You get school shooters. You get violence. You get rapists. Men who do not control their emotions are dangerous. Very dangerous, man. Too emotional, man. Corporate emotion. It means, you see, if you're not able to control your mind, control your emotions, then guess what? Then you, uh, outside yourself, that that is your puppet master. It controls you, basically. You don't control yourself. A man that's just responding to things happening to him is responding. It's not controlling himself. But you know, you, you know, you, you know, uh, if you take full responsibility and accountability for your life, that's what men are lacking. Take a full responsibility and accountability for the life, everything. Of, oh, if you're looking right to go to the gym, or if you're not eating right, go eat, uh, go eat right. If, if, you, know, if, you, uh, if you got anything to chase, anything to, to acquire, you go ahead and pursue that. Yes, you know, so I take responsibility, accountability for everything that, that's when they're truly powerful. But men, opposite these men, they're not powerful. This. Uh, they do whatever they're saying to as he said or not do all the all this do all this madness if you find a man who is stoic he's not going to hurt people he's going to sit and think about his actions very carefully and he's going to be a good man who protects for it and provides for his family you find a man who just acts out on impulse and does whatever he feels like you're going to find a dangerous man sitting here telling men to cry more and act with their feelings and it's okay to feel this way that way etc and have no self-control that is why we have the problems we have in the world 
I can tell you right now, man, <laughs> it's, 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 it's spooky, man. It's very, it's crazy right now, man. That's why uh, um, more individual entertainers need to, need to come out and give them a free platform. Give them a free platform to uh, speak to the, to the meta, to uh, these men and the average man and that. You know what I'm saying to you? Of not even control, it's more too emotional. Uh, but being sad, being the being sad, being depressed, that's all on you. It's all self inflicted. That's this point I have to make. It's all self inflicted. All of it is self inflicted. You have you have you have the power to change anything, to achieve anything you want. But I mean, you have to take responsibility and using those emotions, chance to take that energy to uh, to uh, progress uh, to progress in life. You know what I'm saying to you? That's how it works. Absolutely not only wrong. So when they talk about toxic masculinity, they have it completely inversed on its head, completely and utterly wrong. We need to be teaching stoicism. We need to be teaching young men to understand that the world is very, very difficult. It's hard to be a man. You're gonna feel bad sometimes. You just suck it up to perform anyway. Not to sit there and cry your eyes out, blame other people. Tough being a woman out. too in modern society. It's certainly tough being a woman, but I'm not a woman, so I'm gonna speak on issues I do not understand. I'm a man. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Like, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Is that uh, what uh, it's um, what he's only speaking on speaking his audience is to talk about men. He's talking about he's talking about men and that. Do you understand know I me? Mean? And it always shows clearly. No one's complaining about him. No one's saying any woman or this and that that. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about men and that. You know what I'm saying? And this this has to stop and that. This has to stop. This has to stop. Like men men have got to feel their truth. Just know who they truly are. You know what I'm saying? To put uh, we're going to obviously. Uh, move forward and society moves forward otherwise society is going to keep deteriorating and they got more which I need to step up on that step up you know what I'm saying but they're scared to speak on that you know what I mean but you either you either uh, stand for something or you fall for anything you can feel empathy for women I feel empathy certainly but I do not understand their issues See, a lot of men come up to me and they admire you I've got to say a lot of women I've spoken to don't admire they think you represent Misogyny. They think when they hear you not commit to saying the Taliban shouldn't be banning women from university education, well, why can't he just say that's wrong? Well, firstly, that's not my experience. I experienced the absolute and utter opposite of that. Secondly, it's because it's a moral point I'm making. My moral point is that I speak on things I understand. I speak on experiences I... And that is pretty much, that's pretty much uh, the end of this reaction. Um, all things I say in this uh, way called is outside the top of the topic of discussion today. We talk about toxic mascul masculinity, modern uh, modern masculinity, and him being called misogynist. That's all the about the video and that. You know what I mean? If you if you if you got anything from this video, then feel free to smash that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Check the link in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.